I am Dr. Shashi Kumar, working as professor in Cochin University. Many of you have already seen me taking classes for ISO 9000. I had come earlier and taken 2-3 days classes before. Now this is a class specially arranged for you. The training program is on basic ship knowledge. That is those who have not seen a ship and aspiring to become or want to know something about the shipping or those who are to impart basic knowledge about the shipping to all those personnel who are aspiring to work in any job directly or indirectly connected with the shipping. So this training program is basically meant for that, not for those who already know about the ship, those who do not know about the ship, some basic fundamentals about the shipping, terms that are used in the shipping, different type of ships, shipboard items, so that we will give you one by one. So before that, before that I want to take you on board the ship and then what is the name of the ship? MV Marine Beast TV. That is the name of the ship on which I am going to take you. I am not going to tell you what type of ship it is but we will take you there. I will take you on board the ship and I will show you all the parts of that particular ship and then you will be familiar with. In case any problem is there any difficulty in understanding or understanding the terms or you want to know little more details please do tell me if i am going so fast please restrict me also i mean i can go slowly also no problem now these are the topics which i want to cover in our training program general aspects of shipping what are the general aspects of shipping types of ships different types of ships which you will see and then life cycle of a ship from cradle to grave that is the birth of the ship to the depth of death of the ship like cradle to grave shipboard organization organization means what all things are there on board who are all there what are the categories of people or officers on board the ships important parts of the ship and then important conventions international conventions and codes international codes connected with the shipping and familiarization of few terms that are connected with the shipping so with this you will be able to understand what is a ship and what all things are there on board the ship, what are the different types of ships are there, what are the parts of the ship, who are all manning the ship, the people, those who are on board the ship, categories of people, division of people, there are various categories of people on board the ship and then types of ships with the photographs I will show you whether it is a passenger ship, cargo ship or bulk carrier or a tanker or a gas carrier or a tug or different type of vessels. So this, after this training program is over, you will be able to understand what is different. If you see a ship in Port Trust, you will be able to understand whether it is a tanker, whether it is a gas carrier, whether it is a bulk carrier, whether it is a passenger, passenger vessel, of course everybody can understand. Lot of decks are there like a building, so many flats like things, so many decks are there which all of you know very well. But other type of ships, many of you have not seen or maybe you have seen but you are not familiar with. Let's go to the first uh, point that is general aspects of shipping. What are there? What is a ship? Let us understand what is a ship. A ship is a floating vessel used for transporting cargo across the oceans and rivers also, not only across the oceans. Ships can go through rivers also, very big rivers are there, like Haldia river in Kolkata. Ship is passing through that very big river. In Surat, Gujarat, rivers are Tapti river, Narmada river, ships are passing. Our uh, Reliance Industries, small ships are passing through this. So ships can go through oceans, also through rivers. It's a floating vessel used for carrying cargo especially and passengers also, of course, passenger ship will carry passengers also. In other ways, when you say cargo, passenger is also treated as a cargo. It's a cargo as far as the ship is concerned. Otherwise, we say, that we can distinguish a cargo and a passenger, but as far as the ship is concerned, she is loaded. And again, ship is always called a she. Always feminine name is, feminine gender is used for the ship. Anybody knows why it is so? Ship is always called a she. Always she is like that way, ship is coming, she is coming to the port. Ship is because ship carries cargo. Ship is birthing, delivers, discharges like a baby lady discharging, takes cargo and then discharges. Then ships comes to the port and when the ship is coming to the port, there is a channel is there, channel. Through that channel only ship comes. When the ship is coming to the port, 
to guide the ship to take to the ship to the port you are having green boys and red boys green boys on the right side that is the starboard side and uh, red boys on the right side so three this channel of will be there this channel of full of lights will be there through that only the ship will be taken so we call it a channel boys in general boys so whenever a ship is coming lot of boys will be looking at her green boys also is, is uh, it is allowed and means you can't go right side you, green lights and red light will be there through that only the ship will be coming like in uh, airport you will be having runway will be lit up with lights so in that runway only the aircraft is coming and going same way ship is also taken through a channel guided by this channel boys green and red boys so generally we call it boys so the moment she comes the ship comes all boys are there to guide her or take her and everything also whenever she is coming to the port there is lot of hurry hurry whenever a nice lady is coming all people will be boys will be around there and all that to see her how she is nicely dressed up like that way whenever a ship is coming to the port customs ship handlers loading people surveyors so many people are coming to the ship for various official purpose only but people are getting round the ship so that is why she is ship is always called a she only in feminine gender only basically there are various other reasons but the language is little other way because only for use for ship is only which i cannot uh, tell you here actually this is a public people where i do not want to use uh, ship is language actually okay now ship comes in different sizes dead weight ship is different sizes mean dead weight and shape also different shapes ship is coming and different purpose the ship is used for carrying liquid cargo for carrying solid cargo for powder cargo bulk cargo packaged cargo and gas various types of ships are coming that's why it is called ships come in different sizes arrangements to carry different type of cargo container ship <coughs> it is different it is different from a general cargo vessel the construction of the ship is different passenger of ship is different tanker is different the importance of shipping and ships can be appreciated from the fact that ships transport about 95 percentage of the world cargo so shipping nobody can forget if ships are not there you and we will not get anything for eating many things are coming from outside outside the country so 95 percent of the world's cargo is going transported through the ships so very important thing shipping business is a very important thing ships are powered by very important thing is ships are powered by steam turbines or gas turbines or diesel engines or electric power so these are the four means of power by which a ship is driven propulsion is taken by either by the steam driven pumps steam driven uh, ships are there or gas driven ships are there diesel motor driven diesel motor in the sense diesel engines diesel engines are there very big diesel engines which will be driving the ship and then electric power this is the main thing and then power will be connected to a propeller which gives thrust and because of that thrust only ship is moving forward so this is the prime mover or the thing which for use for driving the propeller which is connected to the end of the shaft of the ship so you can have steam engine steam turbines means steam will be there which i will come back to you little more later what is a steam turbine boiler is used for producing steam of heavy or high pressure and temperature which will be used for driving the steam turbine and then the turbine shaft will be connected or coupled to a propeller shaft at the end of the shaft there will be a propeller this propeller will be turned and you will get the thrust and the ship will be moving forward a reverse thrust will be a different way so diesel engine or electric power steam produced in the boilers spin the bladed wheels of the turbine and drives the propeller shaft and makes the propeller revolve gas turbine also work like a steam turbine only only thing is that hot uh, gas is used instead of steam steam is also you cannot use wet steam you are using dry steam super heated steam more than 340 degree centigrade steam is used very high pressure steam is used for running the steam turbines so gas turbine is a gas only you all know no problem hot gases is used instead of the steam and ships that have the diesel engines are called motor ships normally 
motor ship diesel motor ships generally is a term called motor ships or whether it's turbine ships if if the propulsion is taken through the turbine it is called turbine driven ship otherwise a motor driven electric propulsion means electrical power will be used for run a motor and the motor shaft will be connected to the propeller shaft which in turn will drive the propeller and the thrust will be produced and ship will move forward so you have how many variety how many types of propulsion you have first is steam turbine gas turbine diesel motors and electrical powers now some ships have bulbous bow what do you mean by bulbous bow that is what actually i wanted to show you anyway i will let me i don't know whether it is there or not you are having a ship and the front side you are having a bulb which is protruding to the front side so this type of ship which is having a bow like this way bulbous bow like a bulb it is protruding it gives flexible it gives for a smooth sailing or streamlining the wave flow this is provided so this is cutting the waves because ship is moving forward so waves are there so this is cutting and you give a smooth flow when this is there so big ships are having normally these type of bulbous bow small ships are not having this so this bulbous bow is like this way a bulb is there on the front side of the ship this is the front side this is the back side you are having the propeller you are having the rudder you are having the accommodation and the forward forward part of the ship this bulbous bow is there which gives for streamlining the wave flow now rudder rudder is the one back side of the ship rudder you have seen this is a rudder which is provided fitted at the back side of the ship aft of the aft means behind of the propeller there is a propeller and aft of that back side of the propeller is the rudder fitter so this rudder when you are turning this rudder is connected to the steering gear provided here and the wheel is provided in the bridge bridge means navigable navigational bridge from where the navigation is done by the master or the navigating duty officer the navigation is done from the bridge navigation bridge here so this rudder is connected to the steering gear compartment which is provided here and this will be connected electrically or electronically or by wire various means this electrical gear uh, steering gear which is connected to the rudder is connected with the steering gear mechanism which is provided in the bridge so when somebody says 5 degree you have to go to the starboard side starboard means you have to go to the right side port side means left side so when the master or the duty officer tells the helmsman or the sukani who is driving the steering wheel like a car driver sukani or the steering wheel who is holding he is called sikanni that is why the sukani the word has come or it is called helmsman helmsman this wheel who is holding this so the navigating officer or the duty officer who is there in the bridge navigating bridge he will tell the helmsman to give to take the ship to the 5 degree this side right side means starboard side so when the ship he is giving turning the wheel to the 5 degree starboard side then this will go to the starboard side the rudder will go to the starboard side when the rudder is going to the starboard side the back side of the ship goes to the left side and the right side forward of the ship goes to the right side that is the way the movement is done when the steering wheel is given to the right 5 degree right ship this side back side will go back side naturally you are giving turning the vessel to the right so forward has to go to the right side so back side naturally it will go to the other side only so when this will go to the right side by which this back side of the ship goes to the left so naturally the front side will go to the this that's how it's not that because this is connected with the back side only naturally the drive is connected like in a car automobile car your back side wheel is unless it is a four wheel drive two wheel drive means is connected to the back side wheel only the differential is give connected to the back side of the wheels only so back side is turning naturally forward is connected with the shaft and it will go like that the ship also here it goes to the left that means the front side goes to the right so if you want to turn to the left side then the from the steering wheel here the navigating officer 
will ask the helmsman to take 5 degree or 10 degree port side that is the left side port side is the left side so then in that case this this will go to the port side so this will go to the other side starboard side and this will go to the port side that means opposite direction back side will be opposite direction of what is given here actually any difficulty in understanding this so rudder is that mechanism which is used for turning the ship to left side or right side or port side or starboard side and this is connected to the steering gear mechanism which is provided here and that is connected to the steering gear mechanism driving mechanism here in the navigating bridge so these two are connected and this definitely it is connected with the radar so the movement can be done radar is something like a small hollow portion only it is having aerofoil section like this way just a thing and the shaft is coming here and this is connected that's all this is connected to the steering gear department here so this is a shaft and a, that is the radar aerofoil section if you cut here then you will have an aerofoil section here so smooth L wave waves will be to make the waves flow smoother that is why the aerofoil section is given types of ships there are generally or three types of ships are there one is cargo ships second is passenger ships and other categories the so, total ship ships available in the merchant navy area we can classify them into three classes one is cargo ships cargo ships again again we will divide second is passenger ship which again we will divide and third one is other categories again that category also can be divided various types of ships are there in these three categories now cargo ships are further divided into dry cargo and liquid cargo cargo could be dry cargo cargo could be wet or liquid cargo and then same way passenger ships also divided into two passenger vessel or ferries small passenger vessels are called ferries you must have seen or heard about a ferry passing through rivers and all that small passenger ferries which carries only few number of passengers ship is a big thing which carries passenger passenger ship can be different type of vessels again depending upon the number of passengers which you are carrying number of decks she will be having i will show you some photographs of different categories of the ships